Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Today, it's going to be a brave new world sent to Sniper Monkey at the email address in the description. Just means it is Bronze or Silver League. If you want your replay to be cast for Bronze Noob World, send it to Sniper Monkey with the subject of Brave Noob World and he will watch it and let me know which ones are worthy of being cast. Alright? Alright, top left we have a red Zerg player. It is Gazelle. Bottom right of Lightshade. We have a blue Terran. It is JHR. Good name. Good name, JHR. I don't know. It just kind of rolls. Rolls, doesn't it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe rolling is the wrong word for it, but I don't know. So, generally, in Brave Noob World these days, what we see uh, are players who have a general sense of how to do an opening build order. And from there, it gets a little bit more difficult for them. So, oh, I love the drone scout from Gazelle. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look, the pros never drone scout. I totally understand that. But you can afford to do so. I promise. If you're in Brave Noob World, if you're also in Platinum or Diamond, you can totally afford to worker scout. See what's going on. Send it out when you have about 16 or 17 supply. Try to see, is there a barracks at home for the Terran? And if there is, then you don't have to worry about a proxy, and it just takes all this weight off of your mind. Meanwhile, just going for a pretty standard 16, 18, 17 here is Gazelle. JHR. Oh, going for yield reactor. Interesting play here. Reactor barracks opening with an engineering bay on top of it. Does he try and... Oh, man. And double gas. Is he trying to Planetary Fortress his main? I feel like that might be something he's trying to do here. This really feels like a build from JHR that a pool first just wins. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a wall, but if you get six lings up here and they're constantly attacking stuff and SCVs have to be pulled off to repair, like, sure. You're probably not getting through if the repair is good enough, but it's a lot of lost mining time. It's a ton of lost resources when it really matters. And I think it really gives you the chance to win. So, Roach Warren coming up from Gazelle with one gas. Oh, actually going for the two gas here and not worrying about speed. So, we're just making roaches on the opening here today. Is he doing the... No, he's not upgrading his main command center. Overlord. No, Terry. Terry the Overlord. Run. Oh, that was not... I mean, is there... Could you hide back here? Either way, this marine positioning by JHR is very good. Well done. And even dodging the blood as it falls down from the sky. Well done there, too. Can you imagine if Zerg units, when they died and their blood fell on you, it was, like, toxic or something? That'd probably break the balance in a lot of ways. What are you... Wait. No, no. In, okay. Creep spreading. We're creep spreading with our queens. This queen's not doing anything, actually. You don't want to inject or creep spread with... Yeah, there we go. There's the inject. It's kind of backwards, though. I would recommend using this queen at the natural to spread creep and this queen at the main base to inject on their first 25 energy, but... All right, who's are we really we're making a Reaper? We're, okay, we're going Mass Reaper after the first two Marines. So these Reapers, I guess this Reaper's name is Reaper. This guy doesn't lack the fancy naming of things. <laughs> all right, so it's a group of Reapers. They've all named themselves Reaper because they don't believe in uh, the fanciness. We have four roaches. Uh, there they are. Kind of hard to see on this creep, actually. They blend in quite nicely. But we'll do a great job at dealing with any force that tries to come through this area. However, if the Reapers are hopping up, using this little hop-up area into the main base, it could be hard for the, the Roaches to chase them down. Recommended unit to deal with the Mass Reaper is Ravagers. They have extra range that really helps immensely when trying to take Reapers down. They're fast. They're faster than both Roaches and Ravagers, but that extra range on the attack for the uh, Ravager is very, very nice. So trying to get a third... Oh, there we go. Just right in the front door. Oh, no, JHR. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. JHR showed up. Uh, A moved his Reapers into some roaches, and they all died. Third base on the way from Gazelle. Also working on a lair. <laughs> I mean, at least we're getting upgrades with the fast engineering bay, right? This isn't a planetary, nor is it an orbital command, which it really needs to be for JHR. Like, 100% needs to be. The roaches chased down the marines and killed them up here. Overlord checking to see... Oh, man, JHR is in all of the trouble right now. He's on one base versus an almost three-basing gazelle. Army supply is 28 to 7. Like, this is, this is a point in the game where you just A-move your roaches across the map and you win. 
Okay, hang on. There's a single tank. Make three Ravagers so you can Corrosive Bile down this tank, and then you win. But once again, hindsight is 2020. Observers in StarCraft have a beautiful picture of everything that's happening in the game that Gazelle does not have. Honestly, you show up with three Ravagers and like six Roaches, Corrosive Bile down this thing. You'll probably catch Marines too because they're not moving. And then just kind of smash through the wall and win the game. However, I'm fairly sure this is not a game that ends at the six minute mark. So, what we're going to see here is probably Gazelle being too cautious. While JHR kind of refuses to expand at all. Like, here's, I mean, he did attack. If you're going to be one base, especially against a Zerg, you really need to attack. If you don't attack, take a natural. Also, this is problematic because, remember when I said about the Ravagers? Those are really important if you're trying to do this, Gazelle. If you show up with just Roaches, two Siege Tanks, okay. Three Siege Tanks, man, Corrosive Bile, like, right here would be the most beautiful thing. But we're not doing it. I don't know that Gazelle knows what Ravagers are, which is a problem. Which is a giant, massive problem. Look, no, no, no. no don't go off the ramp. Don't go off the... Okay, okay. All right, lost, lost some units, but not bad, not bad. Pulled back. Okay, there's not a natural base for the turn. Let them sit in here, okay? Let them sit in here and turtle all they want on one base. You go on three bases, you max out, I don't know, max out on Mutalisks or something. Like you max out on pretty much anything outside of Zerglings and you're gonna win this game. It's just a matter of uh, getting enough workers. You have 29 right now. You are not saturated on any of your bases, though the natural base is not bad. So, drone up a whole bunch. Ooh, going for the Nidus attempt. See, there's honestly no real reason. He's got the tanks, right? Uh, and that worries me a lot. Also, wow, a lot of medevacs all of a sudden. Are we going for a big old drop? JHR1 base, super big scary marine tank drop. Ordered up. But yeah, hit that like button if you are enjoying this cast. Again, I like these because they are non-standard. There is nothing about this that makes any sense on the highest level of StarCraft 2. I like that we have a lair. I guess we're getting speed for overlords, so that counts for something. But we have a lair and it hasn't used it for anything at all. One one's gettable with uh, just a hatchery. Uh, Glio Reconstitution. Okay, Glio Reconstitution needs it. And here comes the Nidus, like in full view of everyone that JHR has hired. The siege tanks are coming over. Can they un get out of the Okay, the tanks unload. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a silver lining on that attack from Gazelle. At least Gazelle didn't unload everything and everything died, which was a distinct possibility with two siege tanks firing. A bunch of Marines. I mean, that would have been, it depends on how many roaches there were. I guess 25, 26 something roaches might've been enough to actually do that. But yeah, a Nidus right in between two missile turrets is just gonna be spotted by pretty much everybody on earth. Hey, Gazelle's making drones now. He's like, oh, all in didn't work. Guess I'll try to get some economy rolling. In the meantime, he's got 20 roaches. I think in a Nidus network right now. So maybe not in a position to really help with this. And this is quite a doom drop. I'm just going to say, wow, flies right over the natural. Oh, here we go. There's the unload. So you don't want to unload here. Oh, that's a better spot. Why not? We can unload here. Drones, run for it. Oh, the tank's already been sieging up. Which, man, if they were sieged up, this would go so much better for JH. Oh, he does siege the tanks. Is it? Too, it's probably too late, but still, big time. Big time splashy bonus versus armored hits here from the siege tanks. Oh my gosh, he did it. He... <laughs> 14 kill siege tank. Uh, that's 30 roaches down. Hydralisk then gets focused. Because Zell's making more roaches to try to handle this. The medevacs are really worth their weight in gold right here. Just not allowing anybody to die to these broodlings, especially. 
some roaches coming out. They're just like, okay, if we can focus down the siege tank, we win. But, oh, so many. Okay, the siege tank dies. The siege tank is dead. Marines are hiding under the medevac, but it doesn't protect them from the acid of the roach attack. <gasps> and finally, the medevacs have to get out of there. Yeah, Gazelle's floating on 2,500 minerals and 800 gas. JHR is spending his money better. Which, again, easier for him to do because he's on one base and hasn't expanded yet here in 10 minutes. So, the advice for Gazelle continues to be the same. Max out on anything. You have, currently, 9 Larva. It's not super great. The Injects have not really been happening here. That's a Max Energy Queen. That's a 150 Energy Queen. That's a 50 Energy Queen. Getting Burrow is kind of cool, I guess. I like the Overlord spread. He's trying to see if JHR has expanded somewhere, but he has not. It's a weird place to siege up. Are you trying to protect a base, or...? No, nope, that's not happening at all. Just kind of sieging up, pretending there's a natural here, but there's not. But, okay, so maxing out on Mutalisks. Maxing out, okay? Not making 10 or 20, like uh, making as much supply as gets you to 150 or 200 supply of Mutalisks and just A-move and win this ball game. You can do it, Gazelle. I believe in you. If Gazelle does not win this game after having this massive, massive advantage, I'm going to be a sad panda. JHR just needs to expand. If you're watching this, JHR, what I need from you, friendo, is to expand way, way before now. And you're not doing it now anyway. Oh, hold on. Hold up. Ah, oh, 1150 natural. Excellent. So I need you to expand at like the two minute mark. Like, after your first barracks is done, send that SCV down and make an expansion. I promise you'll be okay. The one Rax expand has been incredibly, incredibly safe against Zerg for so long. All you want to do is send your Reaper out, or send your SCV out, sorry. Uh, send an SCV out while this is under construction. Check to see, is there a hatchery here, or is there not a hatchery here, or is it just gotten started? Because that means there is a pool that's done and lings are on the way. And at that point, you just keep your Reaper home. You can get two bases extremely, extremely easy. So remember when I was like, you need to make Mutalisks? I was like, no. But more, more than, more than, how many did we lose here? Eight. Like, more than nine. Uh, 20, 30, 40, something like that. You can do it! You have available gases that you're not actually taking, so that hurts our plan a little bit. These are fully saturated. Uh, these are fully saturated. Okay, third base, fully saturate with gas. Make as many mutalisks as you zergly can. Make a whole ton of zerglings to go with them, because there are no widow mines. The siege tanks are kind of a problem, but not really. And besides, getting lings up on top of these marines, friendly fire splash comes from the siege mode, and everybody dies. JHR just has a lot of problems. <laughs> like, I love you, JHR. I do. But, like, you're at 29 workers at 13 minutes. You pretty much mine out your main base before you even have your natural available. Which, honestly is better than not having a natural base available at all. Like, you could have been worse. You could have just never built the space whatsoever and then, like, floated your command center down. Make orbital commands. Uh, it's just, it's a button. If you click on the uh, on the command center, if you have a barracks, you can make an orbital command. It only costs 150 minerals, and it gives you access to mules, which are incredibly good and required. Now, the two things for Terran. You need orbital commands, all right? And for Zerg, you gotta get those injects going. You really need to make them happen. There we go. So, pro tip from Falcon. You can queue up injects, okay? See how you're like, oh, I have 200 energy. I can't possibly use all that energy on this hatch because it comes in too fast for me to use it during that timer. So, you click your queen, you press V, or whatever your inject button is, you shift click on the hatchery, and you click a bunch of times. That will queue up injects, and the queen will inject on this until she's out of energy, and then just automatically queue up more eggs hatching every time without you having to do manual injects at all. Okay, that was added, I don't know, in like 2017 or 2018 by the, the StarCraft Balance people because they love us. They love the Zergs and they gave us that. The pros never need it, but we do, okay? So use their gift. Fourth base on the way from Gazelle. 50 workers is great. Okay, we're doing the plan. We're making 17 Mutalisks. We have enough to make five more Mutalisks. And we've got 10 larvae. 
More overlords would be nice. We are kind of creeping up on that uh, supply block area. JHR is honestly... Uh, there's just so much that JHR needs to work on here. Uh, he's spending his money, so we will applaud him for that. But by 15 minutes, if you don't have at least three bases at this level, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. If the Mutas... I don't know. If the Mutas came in with the Roaches... I think maybe we can end this here. Just give the Marines something to shoot other than these 23... Wait, hang on. 17 Mutas. It's just not enough, is the thing. I need more Mutalisks than this. They are squishy boys. Do you see how they're all dying to a handful of missile turrets? It's because they are the squishiest. Dude, this turret... The okay, Just trying to deny an upgrade. Sort of. Don't lose them all again. Okay, we're going to lose them all again. Hang on, hang on. He escapes with some of his mutalisks. That counts for something. 17 mutalisks have died. He's got eight. Please, please don't let this make you think that mutals are not viable here. They are. I promise you. Ooh, we're going for a nidus. Oh, now that the turrets are gone, there is a bit of a blind spot in here. Not that much of a blind spot, though. Yeah, look at JHR, man. He's on the ball in certain ways, but other ways, not so much. Starting to float some cash, which makes sense. He's been in battles, and that's when you forget to make stuff, is when you're in a battle. But if you can just take a second, take a second out of your busy battle, battling, to just come on in and make another round of something. What are we doing here? Is he going mass viking against... Mutalisk, it seems that is his intention. He's getting plus two air attack. If I had to guess, I'd guess that's what he's doing. Uh, another attempted Nidus gets completely shut down by Siege Tanks, because again, throwing up Nidus in range of vision, and Siege Tanks means it will never, ever, ever happen. So we got 20 Mutalisks in production for Gazelle. He's maxed out on Mutas and Roaches, which, he's got 23 Roaches that are sitting back here, just begging. Hang on, where are said Roaches? Oh, they're in the Nidus that d continues to not work. Okay, they came out of the Nidus now. So look, just bring everything. At this level of StarCraft, like going up a ramp, do not recommend that. But attacking into a big wide area like this with anything is probably going to be pretty good. The Roaches have plus two, plus two. The Mutalisks have plus one, plus one. He's maxed out. He's got 80 total workers on four bases. Expanding like five more times would not really hurt you with your 5,000 mineral bank gazelle. So here's the plan. Here's the plan. You come in here. Hmm. What do we do? I really just feel like your best option is just attacking this with all your mutalisks. You kill all these tanks and then suddenly it is so much harder to defend anything else for JHR, especially them roaches. Like the Vikings aren't going to help with that at all. Oh, we are, we are expanding. Look at this action. Check it out. Check it out. Okay. 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 I'm not going to complain about it. And, oh, did you just turn them all into Ravagers? You made some of them into Ravagers. I, I love that play. He knows Ravagers exist after all. I was worried about Gazelle's ability to understand that Ravagers are a thing. So the goal here, Gazelle, is not letting JHR get a third base. I believe you can do that. I believe wholeheartedly that's a possibility. So remember that? Oh, remember that front door? That's oh, There's more Marines there now, though. Mm -hmm. Just did a flyover. See what's up. Checking that third base. It's not... No, do not... Do not try to harass and lose your mutalisks for, like, a missile turret or two. Ow. Ow. Bring the ground army. Let's go, Gazelle. Wait! No! <laughs> Everyone's here now! 
Everyone's here now. They left their post in the main base. Everyone's here now. Do not attack into the heart of JHR's army. Also, you know what's amazing in this situation is banglings. So many banglings. A move them. There's a few tanks, sure. Send in some roaches first to absorb the early hits and then just melt everything with 100 banelings. That would work as well. I still think with 180 supply that we're looking at here, just he refuses to attack with this. He's expanding a bunch. There's another expansion up here where SCVs were sent for I don't know what purpose. JHR, if JHR wins this thing after sitting on two bases for 20 minutes, that's not even accurate. That's not even accurate. Like, <laughs> one base and one base. So he's been on one base for 20 minutes. Trying to expand here, but there's a hatchery in the way, which is very, very interesting. Bring the rest of your army. Oh my gosh. At least he didn't lose everything into that meat grinder. I mean, these are 2-2 uh, two -two marines. So, oh, wait. 17 corruptors. That's what you're going to spend your remaining supply on? So, Roach Ravager, Mutilus, Corruptor. Uh, <laughs> I really do feel like Corrosive Biles could wreck most of this. This is a very clumpy army. You could Corrosive Bile down a bunch of these Marines and a bunch of these Vikings because I doubt they're going to dodge that easily. But you have to know Corrosive Bile exists. We know it exists. Look at him trying to kill this third. Get it. Get the third. Okay, but attack with every... Attack with everything. Holy crap. Rosa Bile might actually take... Oh my gosh, we're going to take it down. So all these guys are dead because... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. The repair... The repair is not happening, but by golly, that grind army gets massacred because it's Roach Ravager versus Tank Marine with 2-2 two -two upgrades. Repair it. JHR, it's so close. Jahur. Jahur. Jahur? Oh, Jahur. Oh, Jahur. Hey, wait, that's an orbital. He knows orbitals exist. Oh, he upgraded his main to an orbital. How nice. This is where JHR is like, well, I'm killing hatcheries. I'm doing amazing work. It's like, sort of, sure. But do you know how many hatcheries Gazelle has right now? The answer is nine with a high, so it's ten. I guess maybe nine after that one's dead. It's expanded to every potential location on the map. Your income is nothing. It is nothing right now. Alright, Gazelle's decided in the face of a million billion Vikings. Okay, ten. He's going to build Broodlords and try to win with those. I still think about a hundred Banelings cruising on in here. Especially if the tanks aren't sieged up, everything dies. And that's your game. Okay, roaches are paying for themselves here a little bit. They're working on 3-3. Can't argue with that. They are 2-2 roaches at the moment, though. Wait, no. Don't just sit out here at the front. The army's coming back to murder you. Run into the main base and kill stuff. Don't get in... Okay, he's getting engaged. Well, okay, retreating. Wait, hold up. No, mutalisks. Just no. No, 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 no. This is not your fight. All right. So we can make about 10 broodlords here. If that's what you want to do... He wants to make one, at least. There we go. Seven. Uh, oh, maxed out. Okay. So maybe sacrifice some roaches to help with that. <laughs> you want to see a broodlord hatch? Like goop falls to the ground. Oh my gosh, it's a third base from JHR. He's legitimately got two bases running at the same time, sort of. Now this is going to be here for about 10 more seconds, but, but, he's, dude, if JHR wins this thing, this is great. This is some really, really nice content. Man, this is some good, brave noob world.
Gazelle has 65 workers, a 12,000 and 700 gas bank. He doesn't know the Banelings exist, which is a problem. He's got brew lords. He's not using them for anything. Man, eight brew lords. I think maybe you just go here. Like with the brood lords raining down fire, the roaches and the mutalisks and kind of finish off everything else. But this whole sitting here maxed out doing nothing is a problem. In StarCraft, if you're maxed out, you gotta go. You need to hear Falcon's voice in your ear saying, go, 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 go now. Otherwise, you're gonna regret not going. I know, makes a lot of sense. So he's going, in all fairness. Gonna lose all of this. Okay, the Brew Lords flank in. No, not too close to the Marines, though. Stand back. The Corruptors are trying to kill the Vikings. Oh my gosh, everything. Dude, J JHR is really doing his best to win this game right now. There were enough Marines to eat up the Broodlings. There are only 2 2 Marines as well. Dude, some of these guys have got to have a bunch of kills now. That's a 12 kill tank. It's a 6 kill tank. These Marines, 2 kills, 1 kills, 4 kills. Alright, alright. Gazelle, I'm going to say it again. I understand you can't hear me. But, uh, Banelings. Banelings, Banelings, Banelings O. I believe is the song that you may have heard. Hey look, another hatch down. JHR feels very proud of himself for killing hatches that have no activity at them at all. Gazelle's not using them for anything. Gazelle decides what I need is 3-3. I need 3-3 for my Mutalisks and my Broodlords. Because them getting absolutely wrecked two minutes ago was not a matter of compositional choice. <laughs> He's got Burrow move. But a matter of upgrades. That's all it was. Do, do not, do not why. I mean, I guess he killed a couple tanks. Burrow again! The trick here is burrowing again, so you don't... Okay. Oh, cute trick. Very... Oh my gosh, more roaches. Gazelle, you're hurting my heart. JHR. Man who's been on an average of one base every minute here for the last 28 minutes. He's decided that at the 28 minute mark, he's going to follow up his early attack, which was a miserable failure. With an attack that honestly could just win him the game. That's that's what we're looking at right now, is an attack that could just win him the game. Oh boy. I don't know. Place your bets. Place them now. You think... You think JHR has this? You think Gazelle has it? I don't know. Brave New World games are really hard to predict. Also, a special thanks to Sniper Monkey for looking over all the submissions for both Midrake Madness and Brave New World. I really appreciate the help with that. It saves me a ton of time. We introduce Hydralisks into play. So, Banelings don't exist. Of course, I said that about Ravagers, and that turned out to be untrue. Gazelle does know that Ravagers exist. Just didn't want to use them early, I guess. Uh, third base? Okay, this is actually enough 3-3 roaches to wreck this planetary. Uh, I assume there's not going to be any repair he used. Oh, look at him stutter stepping forward like a boss. All right. That's it. JHR, no monies, no ability to rebuild anything. He did find a base that actually has activity at it because he built <laughs> missile turrets and a sensor tower right next to this one. So it's dead, but Gazelle has so many other bases available, it doesn't matter. Dude, the SCV count for JHR is plummeting. He's down in single digits. 
Uh, this drone is... These drones are all dead. Hello, drones. Do not walk back into an active war zone, please. So... Oh, Planetary of the Nat... I didn't realize there was a Planetary of the Natural. I never actually, like, looked at it that closely. Wow, look at him. Really wants that tank dead, and then everything else can die. So, this is somehow turned into something of a base race. Wherein JHR does not have any ability to do anything to save his stuff from being murdered. He just needs to kill all the Zerg stuff faster. See, this is a situation where I would recommend going home if you're JHR. Because, like, even if you kill all of Gazelle's workers, he's still got enough of a bank that it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, a legitimate base trade in Brave New World. Who saw this coming? I guess it was fairly obvious this might be the case. Alright, so pro tip here from JHR is lifting up your buildings. Although, Gazelle did just make a bunch of mutalisks, which hopefully he doesn't throw them, okay, into death. But he did bring them over. So he recognizes, if this is a base race, they say never base race a Terran, but you can do it if you have flyers. <laughs> if you have some corruptors or mutalisks or around, especially those. Keep going! Don't give up! Yes, here we go. Uh, yep, main base is dying, but see, the difference here is that Gazelle has other bases he can fall back on. JHR doesn't also have these buildings are a big one. Don't lose your mutalisks unnecessarily. Good, keep them over here. We need those for later. Yeah, kill the turrets so it's harder for the mutalisks to die. Love that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alright, this is going pretty well for Gazelle. 168 to 111 supply here. Army supply is 144 to 109. In a direct engagement, JHR wins this thing hands down. <laughs> because there's no splash damage at all for Gazelle. And 3-3 three, three roaches kind of suck against two two marines. He's not lifting his he's not lifting his buildings though. Dude, is this it? There's a lone SCB hiding up here, very injured. These are, oh my gosh, it's true. Okay, very smart. Throwing up hatcheries on the other side of the map is Gazelle. Genius plays. Genius plays from him. Because he's got the money for it. So why not? Why not make this really hard for JHR? And I think Gazelle's got this thing won. It, <laughs> it certainly came down to it. It certainly did. Additionally, why are you sitting here? Go kill this. You know it's here. You have vision on the final stuff. The hive class toys are wait, wait, wait. Did he figure it out? Gazelle. No, no, no. No, 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 Gazelle's over here. Oh, the no. I don't know that Gazelle recognizes he just has to kill the buildings. He doesn't actually have to win this fight. Um, oh, the Hydra extra DPS is really, really adding in stuff here, though. Okay. All right. The Hydras were a bit of the missing ingredient. All the Vikings are dead. Gazelle just wanted the bonus points and the style points of winning this thing after destroying JHR, JHR, JHR's army and then going and killing his buildings. Could have easily won just by wandering over this way and killing this stuff, but really wanted the satisfaction of actually beating JHR's army. I incorrectly called that as a loss for Gazelle if that were to happen. But the extra Hydra DPS, you don't even necessarily need, especially if the tanks aren't sieged up. You don't necessarily need Banelings to destroy that kind of a comp. Hydras do extremely well if Roaches are buffering for them, eating a couple tank shots, eating a few Marine shots, and allowing the Hydras to sit back and deal damage. I mean, obviously, a lot of Hydralisks died. There's not a whole bunch remaining here. I don't think Gazelle knows how to win StarCraft. <laughs> JHR is killing his own buildings because Gazelle's not doing it. <laughs> Alright, so pro tip for all you newbies out there. You actually win a game of StarCraft if you kill all of your opponent's buildings. You don't actually have to kill their army at all. They could have a maxed out, incredibly terrifying, unstoppable army, and if you kill their buildings, they lose. Look, oh, you see, you didn't have to scout it. You can see it. It's right here. All right, Gazelle, hold up. Camera. We heading? <gasps> Are we heading over? Are we making the pilgrimage? 
This is Gazelle's camera right now. Oh, 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 you see them. You see them. You're really going at an angle at these because I guess they can harm you. I don't know. Wait, the heck is left? Oh, there's a sensor tower. It's over here, though. Oh, 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 found it. Found it. Let's go. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Amazing. Wait, what are we? Gazelle. Friend. Oh, actually, looking up here while sending a roach to kill. Okay, sensor tower is gone. Gazelle's your winner in 36 minutes. <laughs> that was good. That was a very brave new world. One of the more brave new world games I have cast. In, uh, in the last few weeks. Woo! Hit that like button if you enjoyed that one. That was a ton of fun. I just, <laughs> resources lost. 52,000 for Gazelle and 32,000 for JHR. JHR, again, was never on more than one base at a time. It was like 1 1.2, 1.3 for a while, but average one. No Banelings were made in this game. Eight Broodlords were made and achieved virtually nothing and all died because he brought them in way too close to the Marines. Uh, the Hydras were the saving grace here for Gazelle. Like, Roach Hydra, if the tanks aren't sieged up, or if there aren't many tanks, can do really well in that kind of a situation. Again, with Roaches to buffer. Hydra alone struggles more because they're squishy, but the buffering is nice. 13 hatcheries died for Gazelle, which is a humongous number. I just Wow. That was awesome. So yeah, Banelings for Gazelle. JHR needs to expand a lot more, and often and early. Those are the big things. Those are the big things that I was, uh, that I noticed here. So <laughs> uh, all right, cool. So that right there is going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void and a Brave Noob World. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.